A dark night in Salem. On a chilly autumn night, Salem was quiet. The wind whispered through the trees making spooky sounds. The full moon shined bright, casting shadows on the ground. These shadows seemed to move on their own. Old houses creaked and the air felt heavy. It was as if the town itself remembered the past. A past filled with fear and darkness. People say that on nights like these you can hear the ghosts of the Salem witch trials. The old courthouse. At the center of Salem stood the old courthouse. This was where the witch trials happened many years ago. It was an old, spooky building with tall cracked walls. The windows were dark, but if you looked closely, you might see a ghostly face staring back at you. This courthouse was a place of sadness. Innocent people were blamed for being witches and put to death. Now their spirits roam the halls, seeking justice they never got in life. The haunted forest near the courthouse was a dense, dark forest. The trees were tall and twisted, their branches like bony fingers reaching out. It was said that the witches, accused and scared, hid here trying to escape their fate. As you walk through this forest, you might feel a cold hand on your shoulder or hear a faint whisper in your ear. The forest is alive with the spirits of those who were unfairly judged. The ghostly figures. People who visit Salem at night often talk about seeing ghostly figures. These figures float above the ground, their faces pale and eyes filled with sorrow. They appear and disappear in the blink of an eye. Some say these are the spirits of the accused witches. They wander the streets still looking for the freedom that was taken from them. Their presence sends shivers down your spine. The Gallows Hill. Gallows Hill was a place of execution. It was here that many of the accused witches were hanged. The hill is quiet now, but at night it's a different story. If you go there, you might hear the sound of a rope creaking, as if someone is swinging from it. You might see ghostly figures standing in line, waiting for their turn. The hill is a place of great sadness, and the spirits here are restless. The town's memory. The people of Salem remember the witch trials. They remember the fear and the hysteria that gripped the town. Now, they live in a town filled with ghosts. They tell stories to keep the memory alive hoping that such a terrible thing will never happen again. The ghosts of Salem are a reminder of the past, of the innocent lives lost, and of the need for justice. The spirits plea. As the night goes on, the spirits become more active. They gather in the town square, their eyes pleading for justice. They cannot rest until their names are cleared. They want the world to know they were not witches. They were just people, caught in a terrible time. Their plea is silent but powerful. It echoes through the night, a call for understanding and peace. The sun rises, as dawn approaches, the spirits slowly fade away. The town becomes quiet again, the eerie feeling lifting with the first light of day. But the memory of the ghosts lingers. The people of Salem know that as long as the town remembers, the ghosts will return. They will come back, seeking the justice they were denied in life. A lesson learned. The story of the Salem Witch Trials is a lesson for all. It teaches us about the dangers of fear and false accusations. The ghosts of Salem remind us that justice is important and that we must be careful not to repeat the mistakes of the past. The spirits will continue to roam the town, their presence a warning and a reminder of a dark chapter in history. A promise to remember. As the story ends, the narrator looks out over the town. Salem is a place of beauty and history but it is also a place of ghosts, of memories that cannot be forgotten. The people make a promise to remember the trials and to honor the spirits of those who were wronged. They will keep telling the story so that the ghosts of Salem will never be forgotten and justice will always be sought.